Hey guys, welcome to our smash for Tuesday, February 28th, 2023. I'm Ray. I'm Kelly. And we are packing. So we're going to do this smash a little different. Just want to start off by showing you what an incredible mess our house is and how hard Kelly's been working. This is It's her. overwhelming how much clothes I have. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. This is probably the most overwhelmed I've, I think I've ever been. Ever. Huh. Yeah, overwhelmed. Doing as much as you've done. Everyone's like, why don't you hire movers? Well, we are hiring movers. They're yeah. coming tomorrow and the next day. But, I mean, I don't want to pay $220 an hour. To have for, them pack our stuff. To, and I like packing my own stuff. I don't want people in my biz. Yeah, and we have time to do it. It's just a pain in the butt. But uh -huh. we did buy a bunch of boxes and tape and bubble wrap and all that. And Kelly's made a real dent. It is incredible how much clothes... <laughs> Shocking how much shoes and clothes I have. It's it's crazy. And I get keep getting rid and rid and rid of stuff. Yeah, and we, we sold a lot at the yard sale. Um but there's still a lot left. So this is the guest room. And we have more oh, to that do in here. It just cleared out. Oh. I saw some more stuff. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. Nice. Good job. I haven't done my closet because I spent all day doing my um, office. We have this. I have to get all this stuff out. Okay. Did you see that? We got boxes here. These are Kelly's shoes. Right? Yeah. More against her. And then there's some bins here. There's some more clothes. I did a good job on this. Yeah, oh, you I did a number shoes, in here. All my boots. Yep. So this, the movers can put these in garment boxes. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for that. Yeah, but wow, you do have a lot of stuff. I know. I just have a crazy amount of crazy amount of clothes. It's insane. <laughs> well, <sighs> I mean, I'll show you my closet. I haven't started on it yet. My closet's an absolute mess. I have a fair number of clothes too, but nothing compares to my wife. Here's our bedroom, which is. The least messy of the rooms, but this give us time. I just took that down. Oh, so my closet is. I got a bunch of suits, a bunch of winter coats I don't need. Those are all my bathing suits, t-shirts, sweatpants, polos. I saved about. 60 ties and sold about 60 of them at the yard sale. Got a bunch of shoes I got to pack. I got some shirts over here, a lot of shirts, but those can go in a wardrobe box. I saved a bunch of hats, sold some of them. So yeah, we got a, we got a ways to go. They're gonna help us wrap the artwork. Check out the downstairs though. This is nuts. Where do you see this? So, okay, here is a wall of boxes. The living room is, those are, those are Kelly's clothes, the big ones. We got a bunch of art. We got a frame, a uh, wrap up. Uh-oh. We got Halloween decorations, Christmas, art, a TV. There's our set. The kitchen is kind of a disaster, but Jolie and Max are in there. Look at that. What's up, kids? What's up? I mean, there's just box after box after box. After box after box after box. After box, box, after, box, after, box, box after box after box. And then there's more stuff. Oh, Kelly's office we haven't done yet. My office is coming up. I did all this today. 21 boxes. We've got four file cabinets. Here's my wall of credentials. My violin. And then uh, the garage. So this is how dedicated we are to our smashers. I don't have one stitch of makeup on. <laughs> I just put lipstick on right now. Because I look so horrible. So forgive me. She has been busting her ass all day. 
like all day. We were up early and all day. We haven't stopped. You haven't stopped. I have not stopped. To I sit. left to uh, get more boxes and tape. Came back. I've not sat down all day. The kitchen. Well, you were sitting down when you were going through your clothes. Oh yeah, I was on the phone. I talked to my friend Desiree. She's forty-five. Just got pregnant. I think she's forty-four now, or she's forty-five. She's forty-five. She's 45. she's forty-five. Yes. And pregnant. Pregnant. Wow. And you were like, "There's no way I could do that." No, not at forty-five. Dude, you're gonna be fifty. And she has a kid, a baby, a three-year-old. Mm-hmm. And cutest, her cutest kid. Cutest kid. Cute, cute kid. But forty-five's old. Listen, good for her. Um, I mean, guys do it all the time. Right, but they're not carrying the child. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? I told her it's easier having two than having one. Mm -hmm. Having singletons hard. And if they're closer together, it's better, right? Yeah, the baby will be, the baby's three right now. They'll be four. So he'll be four and he'll be like a, a big brother and he'll take care of the kid. Right, right. She can go like play pickleball. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to keep this short because, oh, I broke my glasses today. How do they look? Good. Are you going to take them on and off? Yeah, because people love when I do that. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube. Push the notification bell. Yeah. And, and uh, <laughs> put that thumbs up. That'll help. And maybe perhaps write something nice. And Patreon. Got to go to Patreon. Yeah, Patreon's longer. We're going to have a kick-ass show this week. Uncensored. Unfiltered. Uncensored. So, Commercial free. at the last minute, uh, I'm going to get a couch made, I think. Depending on what the price is. That's on a take white time. couch. That's going to take time. I had a white couch in my beach house and it got filthy because I had you, dogs. You tell me you can't find a white couch. I can, but I don't want to pay. I don't want to pay retail. Okay. Retail is three how, times the price. How, Why would I would do that when I can get it at cost? But how long do we have to wait for it? Depends. But she said she could give me some loaners. Loaner couches. A loaner couch. Yeah. <laughs> and they have their own van, so they'll deliver it. Right. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I can get okay. loaner couches. I'm gonna, I was going to read some viewer comments. Oh, sure. Sher I don't know how you had time to even read any of this. Stuff. I, I stopped for 10 minutes and built a little show for us. Oh, thank you. It's one of the things I do. I know. You're so good at it. <laughs> Sharon After wrote, Dolly plus pool table equals easy. <laughs> Oh, no shit. <laughs> so, I know. Well, the dolly that we do have is in the desert. Yeah, we have a good dolly. We have a great dolly. But I brought it out to the desert, forgot to bring it back. And then, true story, yesterday when the guy was inquiring about the pool table, and Kelly said, do you have that dolly? And I said, yeah. no, it's in the desert. And then later she goes, you don't have a dolly? <laughs> I, like, no, I said the I same thing. I don't have a dolly. But I told the guy, Eduardo... <laughs> Before he left, because yeah, he was he said, here at our, He said, bring a dolly. You he did. was at our yard sale, and I said, dude, get one of those movers dollies, the flat one. It's like four boards with four wheels and carpeted. <laughs> you yeah. just put the pool table on a couple of those and just roll it. I mean, that's what we should have done. And I told him to do it, and he didn't do it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Your glasses are funky. <laughs> that's so funny that she said that. That's hilarious. And then... Uh, <laughs> Sandy said, God, I was so nervous watching you move that pool table. So glad it went good. Rick, if you want to promote if you want to promote your book on your show, keep doing it. What book? It's right you here. Mean, it's called Ch Chasing Catastrophes. Oh, thanks, baby. My 35 years. <laughs> it's actually a very good book. It is. And I read it, too, on Audible. And If you don't like reading, get the Audible. Kindle? What is it? And What's you'll sure fall asleep. I'll read to you. Uh, someone said the last movie they saw at a theater was Mother's Day 2014. It was Zac Efron. Neighbors. You see that movie? Neighbors? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's funny. It is funny. Uh, and people were worried about my ribs. Thank you. My ribs are fine. This is the first time I lifted stuff the last couple of days, but I'm fine. Yeah, he needs to get, get going. It's been, <laughs> it's been almost six weeks. It's enough already. Exactly. Uh, someone said, wow, uh, this is Jay Downs. Wow, that pool table move. I know people bought some great things. Kelly, you have great taste. Thanks. Wish I lived near you I don't for look that. like I do right now. <laughs> <laughs> wish uh, I, wish I, I look lived like I'm Poe. Well, you look good. That's all that matters. I, I wasn't going to take a shower or put makeup on or do For the hair. smash? 
Yes, in general today. <laughs> I work my butt off. Well, you might want to take a shower before we go to bed. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> She's just lady. Uh, Jay Downs said, wish I lived near you for that yard sale. Aw. I would have gotten that gold chandelier for sure. It's right here. It's right here. Do you want to buy it? I'm She's in Kentucky. I'll, I'll ship it to you. That's where I was born, Kentucky. My old Kentucky home. You were born there, but you didn't grow up there. <laughs> I was there for like <laughs> six months. <laughs> I think a trolley on wheels would have made sense to use. You would have been able to wheel it out. <laughs> I hope no one got hurt moving the pool well, there's table. The, not really, because we have stairs. Like, we have... Right. Stairs here. We have stairs here. There's you go out out to this outside, and there's stairs down. Yeah, two and stairs down. And then there's more stairs going down. But but there's a ramp. Like there's a sidewalk that'll take you to the driveway, which is. But a but ramp. there's stairs. Yeah, to, there's yeah. stairs. So it would require lifting, no matter what. Yeah. I just I'm, we're gonna do in the news and get out of here. In the news. And we really want to talk about this story. Oh yeah, yeah. I have some dirt on that Lady Gaga. So, Lady Gaga, her. Dog was stolen, and she offered a five hundred thousand dollar reward. And the woman who turned in the stolen dogs, who was involved with the kidnappers, yeah, the woman who turned in Lady Gaga's stolen dogs and got arrested, sued Lady Gaga for five hundred thousand dollars. I thought it was like one point two million dollars. Well, oh yeah, that's right, because she added on like damages. Yeah, so it's one and a half million. Right, because she wants to pay her lawyer, which I think she should get. I do too. Because you can't be uh, say that you're going to do that, no questions asked, and right. not, and then all of a sudden renege. That's exactly what she said. Lady Gaga went back on her offer to pay the reward with quote no questions asked. So that means she didn't care if it was the person who stole the dog. Return the dog, and I'll give you half a million dollars. Right. That's so what she said. So this girl didn't she didn't steal the dog, but she knew the guys who did, and one of them. Like, shot the dog walker. Mm-hmm. But she didn't shoot the guy. Right. And she returned the dog. No questions asked. No questions asked. That's what she said. That's, 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 that's liable. It's, I think Lady Gaga loses this case. I hope she does. My friend, I have some Wait, tea. Can, I, oh, can I, I just predict? She's going to settle. She's going to settle? It's not going to go to trial. She's going to settle for $250,000. So give her a million bucks. I don't think so. No? I think she's going to say, here's $250,000 <laughs> and go away. She won't do it. Well, okay, so I have some tea on Lady Gaga. What? Yes. Remember Michelle told us what happened at Cabo Azul? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So my friend, um, they own, they, well, they don't own anymore, but they owned Cabo Azul. And it's a resort and it's a timeshare thing. And, um, you know, they, ha- it, they have a restaurant, Javier's there, and it, it's a really cool restaurant. Mm-hmm. So they got Lady Gaga to come. And I don't know. No, she was staying there. She stayed in the hotel. She stayed in the hotel. And she was comped for everything. She was comped for everything. Yeah. Free room, free meals. And she was apparently really rude. Very rude. And didn't tip the staff, nothing. Just felt like everything should entitled. be entitled. That everything should be free. And um, she's hot stuff. And yeah. I guess she was really, really, really rude well, we to, heard the story to my Mich- friend. Michelle wanted to take a picture with her. Yes, yes. And she didn't want to. But she and she's the, the one who was, And she's the one that was hosting. She's the wife of the owner. Yeah, right. And she was completely rude to our friend that I mean, had everything comped for her. I get she doesn't want to take pictures with fans, but if you're the wife of the owner who's comping your entire trip in Cabo, like take treating damn you picture. like a total VIP, which you are. Yeah. You can take a picture with them. You can be nice to them. Just take, you know what? I find that rude. Rude. I hate when people are act like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You know? Me too. It's just, so, it's rude. Pet like you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even be where you were if it wasn't for your fans. I just find it so... Just, Listen, it just just shows you who your, we what bo- your character is. We both is. met a lot of famous people, and some of them are super cool, and some of them are assholes. Right. Well, I remember one time I was um, I stayed with Ramona when I met you. Yeah. And I remember that too. And uh, we went to play tennis, and we're we we're and I'm always so gracious and kind, no matter what I look like or whatever. <laughs> and obviously, look at me now. And Ramona and I were playing tennis, and I I. I can't take that. The humidity. I cannot handle that. You're pouring like, sweat. I, I was pouring sweat. It's uh, hard for me to breathe. I didn't grow up that way. 
I don't know how to deal with that kind of humidity. So both I of you just, were a sweaty mess. We were both a sweaty mess. And uh-huh. we went to the grocery store to get some wine and some food and whatever. And it's like, oh my God, Ramona, can I take a picture of you? She's like, don't you see that I'm sweaty? Yeah, no. <laughs> but now she told me that she's nicer. She well, takes pictures with fans. I've now. been with you when you've looked at your worst, which is still awesome. Like right now? Way. No, even worse than that. No lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And you always take a picture. Yeah. You always say yes. Mm-hmm. You're very gracious with your fans. Right. Very. And, yeah. Uh, we're going to cut it there. Okay. You guys hope you have a smash day. I don't know if you realize, this could be the last smash we do from this house. I think so. Because we're planning to move in the next 24 hours, and we hope we can get into the new place a day early, and that's it. That's it. We're out of here. Audi. You want to say any final words to... Uh, This house? Old Faithful? No, because it gives me the creeps in here. (laughs) There's orbs and like bad energy and like like craziness in this house. I'm glad glad to bounce. I think my luck is going to change now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? Your luck changed three years ago. It sure did. (laughs) For the best. (laughs) All right. All right. (laughs) Have a great day, everybody. Have a great day, everybody. See ya. See ya.